Welcome to Radio Sensation. I'm your host, Dan. And today, I'll be taking a look at the book, Frazetta Book Cover Art, Complete Collection, Definitive Reference, by David Spurlock. Now, I had done a uh, look at uh, the Frank Frazetta Rough Stuff uh, book, and in there, it had uh, sketches and some early paint um, plans for... Uh, some of the covers and I didn't have this out from my storage at the time so I couldn't look at them both sides by side but I'm going to go through this now take a look at this this is a great book this is how I you know it was through uh comic book covers and paperback covers that's you know how I discovered Frazetta and um uh there's just some absolutely striking uh work done here um so here's uh this is interesting obviously he did not paint these covers these are photo covers that's frazetta <laughs> posing for these covers it says lancer the publisher had asked frank to model for two covers while he was still in the Lan lancer offices he agreed but remembers being perturbed that the girl unexpectedly pulled her hair up like a mustache and they chose to publish that outtake. So there the girl has a, as though she's got a mustache. That is pretty weird. Um, and uh, so uh, this is, uh, this is one that I had seen before this book. Um, a nice uh, Tarzan at the center of the Earth's core. Um, you know, I used to read all those. I used to read all the Tarzan stuff when I was a kid. And I really liked it when Tarzan went and met, met up with dinosaurs. Um, so here's some more early covers. Um, uh, this book, The Sensuous... Frazetta, I have that around somewhere, uh, and it's about what it seems like. It's a lot of uh, his studies of females, definitely worth looking for. And now here we go with uh, his uh, Tarzan stuff. Frazetta says about this cover, even though I was improving rapidly, I was still not attempting to do anything epic with these covers. So, yeah, I think these, uh, this, um, the it's, he, it's a watercolor, and to me that makes it look more like one of the covers done for stuff in the 50s or, or maybe even 40s, you know, like more pulp-influenced stuff. Um, certainly doesn't have the colors that we associate with them, but that's a that's a pretty good pose. Here's uh, I like his ape there. I like that ape a lot. Um, that's a that doesn't look like a usual Frazetta face on that Tarzan. <laughs> Looks like he should be looking at these back to back. That face again is not, uh, you know, but this is early stuff. So now that's a, that, th that kind of reminds me of a, a picture. There's a Harvey Kurtzman book, a uh, uh, comic that has a, an ape silhouette that looks so something like that. Although it's a comedy one, but uh, that's very cartoonish compared to most of his stuff. But I really like this. I like this composition. I think it looks really cool. Here's another one. More apes. Uh oh, great stuff. A lot of these covers, uh, I never saw the paperbacks of a lot of these. I never saw these. So, uh, mm. yeah. Oh, I I I love that monster it's like a reptile cross with a 
dinosaur the colors look more like a, a you know it looks kind of amphibian like colors and I, just an all around that's a great one and here's you know the land of terror anytime they had the dinosaurs in the books i was there and frazetta draws some great ones um cave girl Yeah, Gulliver of Mars. A original title, Lieutenant Gulliver Jones. A long-lost classic of Martian adventures. Uh, Edwin, Edwin L. Arnold. I'm not familiar with that book at all. So these are just some uh, random ones. Oh, and there's a... Uh, uh, Commissioned by Ballantine Books, the covers to these EC comic collections were directed by Frank's friend, EC Mad Editor, Nick Meglin. So, kind of look, gives it that worn look when you see a Frazetta on the EC cover. Um, the Secret People. Hmm. The Reassembled Man. Frazetta gets away with some. Fair amount of nudity on that cover. What's new Pussycat? So that's a... Talks about this. Frazetta says, So I got a job to do a little head of Ringo Starr for Mad Magazine. And that got me a phone call to do the movie poster of Woody Allen's What's New Pussycat. My God, suddenly I had a check for $5,000, a whole year's pay, earned in one afternoon. I can't believe he really painted it in an afternoon, but hey, maybe. And of course, this is, uh, they used the, uh, that poster art on this paperback adaptation of it. And there's, uh, Another paperback reprinting of EC Comics with uh, Rosetta stuff. Um, well, that looks pretty good. It's pointing the way towards uh, Conan. So here we go. Yeah, buddy. These are the ones I was buying. Fantastic. Donald Westlake. Uh, I didn't. I don't remember seeing that. I I don't remember that Donald Westlake uh, book. I do have. I have read some of his stuff. Uh, but they were probably reprints. Uh, this was done in uh, '67. If this was ever reprinted, I don't remember this book at all. But uh, oh, these these covers are so burnt into my brain it's unbelievable just such iconic stuff and then of course uh if there's not enough conan uh covers to keep you busy you can uh, do covers for some of the knockoffs i like john jakes a lot thought the this pose kind of like uh, something about the the way he's shaded there kind of made it feel like uh, uh, you have a hard time I mean I know what's supposed to be happening there it's one that's a little seems a little off to me still great art so more Brack another Robert E. Howard Hero. <laughs> um, I, rem I remember this cover uh, from the news rack when I was a kid. Um, I don't, you know, I knew Frazetta. I, 
I definitely didn't think that was Frazetta, you know, and I wasn't smart enough to look at that. I remember that cover, but I don't think I knew it was Frazetta. I didn't, I didn't connect it to the guy who was doing the, the covers I was looking at, the other the covers of the books I was reading. <laughs> oh yeah god so um this is just the reprint of the the and cropped version of the cover that was on creepy but i mean that that image there okay or edgar rice burroughs or john jakes That's, that is, dang. Every once in a great while, I, I see a Frazetta that's where the, the, the figure seems a little too posed um, for my taste, but who am I to second guess the master? Um, one of the one of the funniest things I ever saw was somebody in the seventies in my area up where I grew up in in uh, Pennsylvania in Fayetteville it might have been somebody from Chambersburg, slightly larger town nearby. Um, they had gotten the side of their van painted. They had had the artist, whoever it was, try to do a knockoff of Frazetta. It was so terrible. And it's just like the funniest. I wish I had a. I wish I had a photograph of it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I liked Sword and Sorcery. I might have bought this with a different cover, but you know, having Frazetta on the cover. At some point, I kind of stopped reading the, the Edgar Rice Burroughs stuff. I, I got a little tired of it. I was getting older and, you know, the stories were a little. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's this is a good book, too, and that's a great cover for it. Carl Wagner stuff. I'm not. I, I don't like King Kong as a regular looking like a regular gorilla. I like him to look like he did in the first, in the 1933 movie, but, but it's Frazetta doing Kong, so there's another Wagner book with a great cover. I, I think this is, this is the one they used, oh yeah, it's the one they used for a, a Molly Hatchet uh, album cover. There's Kong. I mean, his, the, the way his body is, is, is not, you know, ape-like, but the face is, not the Kong I like. Uh, again, great, another great sword and sorcery book that had a, there's another Wagner one. I'm not sure if I have all my Wagner books anymore. I, I had a huge paperback purge and I don't know if I have them all. That's something I'd like to reread though. Um, I remember seeing on, on this Battlestar Galactica poster, I'm being like, what? Last year's, there's an L. Ron Hubbard one. Or L. Ron Hubbard. Getting some of that good old Scientology money. Uh, you know, I, um, when this book was out, I didn't really know about the whole Mothman thing. And so I, you know, just, I'm very curious about that. All right. Great. Great, great stuff.
Mm. There's some in interior work he had done. And swords. See, like this is one of the ones where, it, it, yeah, for some reason that that figure just looks kind of that post looks a little wonky to me. But again, that's that's really my personal feeling. It doesn't have anything to do with uh, Frazetta. I know some people really like that a lot. All right, so that's a look at the uh, the complete paperback covers of Frank Frazetta. I hope you liked looking through that. Uh, if you haven't seen the one I did on the rough stuff, uh, check that out too, okay?